I don't know where she got this information from, but the secret is out. What? Do you feel any type of way that Mondo is close to the YouTuber girls? When you guys are on together, YouTubers, um, quien paga? What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Lily and Bay vlog. Today, we bring you guys a mukbang, which we haven't done in so long. I think since we first moved to the old apartment, which was like over two years ago. It was a while right? back. Wait, wait, wait. Look what I just noticed. Morning. When I went to go get tacos, she made... Wait, what, what do you call this? I don't know what you call that, but my mom used to make it all the time. Whenever we're eating Mexican food, she would chop up cebolla, like super thin, some serrano or jalapeño. She would add lemon, salt, pepper, and oregano, like crushed in there. It's so good. It gives you like that perfect crunch. And then I chopped up some cucumbers because we are eating Mexican food today, which my mouth is watering. We, I mean, we are eating tacos today. Um, <laughs> Enough chit chat, let's get into it because we're hungry. We're but super hungry. We didn't even tell them what we're doing. I guess the title tells you, right? Yeah, we're doing the Q&A mukbang, updated Q&A, answering you guys' questions. We threw it on our Instagram to, um, so you guys can ask us questions and we're gonna answer them today. All right, let, first let me take a bite though because I am hungry. While you take a bite, I'm gonna look for my first question. All right, I'm gonna start with the number one question. I've seen this like four times on here already. Dream car. I don't think we've ever answered this on YouTube, but for me, it's a Lamborghini. As long as it's a matte black Lamborghini, I don't care what kind of Lamborghini it is. Que sea del año, así de fácil. Hmm. What's funny is, my dream car was a lifted truck, right? Oh, for real? Like for the longest, yeah. Right. But preferably yes, like a GMC, lifted, Zanari. But I also like mine as much as I like the GMC, so it's not like, you know, but aside from that, uh, I also been wanting a G Wagon matte black lifted red interior, and I don't want the regular G Wagon, I know. Not, not saying that there's nothing wrong with that. If I had that one, that one's even perfect. But if I can choose, it would be the Brabus, or what is it called? Brabus, yeah. Yeah, you guys, oh my God, that shit looks so badass. So badass. Let me get another bite. Mm. The tacos are good today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Question number two. Are you ready? Oh, Do man. you feel this is like juicy? Like what? Do you feel any type of way that Mondo is close to the YouTuber girls? Like our oh, squad. I got that question too. They, they probably asked. It's probably the same girl, right? Okay, yeah. Well, like, this is Yep. Do I feel any type of way? No, not at all, you guys. Yo se lo que yo tengo. I know the girls. I know what I have at home. I know, like, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't bother me at all, at all. We're all super cool. We're all super cool. The guys with the girls, the girls with the guys. Um, There's never been, like, any type of tension or drama as far as, like, I don't know, like the guys talking to the girls, nothing, none of that, right? We've never had an issue like that. But no, it doesn't bother me at all, you guys. Yeah, that hasn't even crossed our so, mind. Well, at least mine. Yeah, but yeah, it would me cross neither. When mind, I read it, I was yeah. like. But I've seen those comments, those uh, messages every now and then, but I literally just push them away. So no big deal, no pasa nada. Mm -hmm. I feel like a major key for us to be like that is like from the beginning, we've had a lot of trust. And we've always been very open and talking about like everything, you know. He knows that I have a lot of guy friends and vice versa. Like, no, it's not a problem at all. At all. We've never had issues with girls or anything like that, right? Right. And we be around girls that are fine and, you know, mm, but no, it doesn't bother me at all, at all. So, yeah, she's never even like said, hey, uh, don't get so close to that person. Not like that because I know my limits. I know where I'm at. I know what I have. I feel like we all get along like a like a sister and brother yeah. like relationship, um, which is super dope because that's how I am with my friends back at home. When you guys are all together, YouTubers, um, quien paga? How do you guys decide who pays? How do you guys split the bills? Or do you guys pay for everything? And a lot of people, I don't know why, but a lot of people think that Guadis or that Lily and Bay pay for everything, but it, that is not the case, you guys. That is not the case. Um, so this last, I'm gonna give an example. This last Vlogmer trip, um, this last Vlogmer trip, everything was split, you know, literally evenly. Like, if you were going on the boat, it was all split by couple. 
by person, not being yeah, by yeah, couple, yeah, yeah, by couple, and um, we'll cash app the person that paid and things like that. So we're not always paying either. We're ha like sometimes, but our noche pays and we cash app them. Sometimes mm -hmm. um, that person pays for gas, we cash app them, they cash app us. So that's how that works, and I feel like that's the best way to do it. And you right know, split away, it. right away, they paid yeah. us. How much was it? Here's a cash app. Transfer I already right sent away. It. Right yeah. away. That way, no se hacen bolas at the end. Something else, like whenever we go out to eat, eating is different, right? Because eating, everybody orders something different. Mm -hmm. The guys might have drank more than the girls. Sometimes the girls don't drink or whatever, right? Or like Gabby and Gabe, like whenever, when, when, when was it? Um, when we went to brunch and there was like a bottle, there was no reason to. Oh yeah, yeah, the bottle, we didn't split it with them because they don't drink. Whenever we went to the springs, we bought beer, like a bunch of beer and stuff. I don't expect them to spend that extra money because they don't drink at all. You know what I'm saying? So whenever it's like obvious and something that I can speak up for, or anybody else will speak up and say it too. We do it and it's never been an issue or a problem. Botox. Have I ever gotten Botox? Yes, you guys. I've spoken about it on my lives plenty of times. I haven't gotten it often. I've only ever gotten it twice in my life, actually. I hadn't gotten it in like over a year and a half, and I recently got it again at the uh, towards the beginning of this year. You're supposed to go like every, what, two, three months, if you know, you know, but I'm very bad at keeping up with it. They do send me a text like, hey, it's that time again, but I don't, like it doesn't, the, my little fine lines don't bother me mainly as much that's why i don't really get it unless i'm there and i'm like okay let's just do it you know but it's not like a having to do it every three four months whatever however long it takes to wear off does that make sense your top honeymoon destinations or where do you consider going as long as it's tropical all-inclusive something that i don't got to worry about like driving so far and things like that that's relaxing. what i'm down for yeah. super relaxing um, I know where she's gonna pick, so just I'm say it, just say it, just say it. She's gonna pick Bali, Indonesia, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I Bali. think that's super dope. Yeah, my honeymoon destination has always been Bali, Indonesia. Um, one because it just looks amazing and beautiful, and it, it's like a spot where you can go disconnect, vibe, um, chill, enjoy like your partner, you know, just have like one on one quality time. Because I tell Mondo all the time, I'm like, babe, so nobody's coming with us. Nobody, none of y'all squad people are coming with us. Get right. in su casa. I'm just kidding. Um, I tell kidding. Mango, like, we always do, like, squad trips. And it's always, like, back and forth, up and down, back and yeah. forth, doing this, doing that, going here, going there, clubbing, getting ready to do my makeup, da 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 back and forth. Every single day, the same thing. Where it becomes kind of exhausting after a while. Like, you just want to be home and chill. And I've always told him, I want a vacation where I don't have to get up early to do my makeup, to get ready, to go somewhere. Like, I, I wanna be like Podonga vibes. Every day, just chilling at the beach, having a drink, you know, like that. Favorite color, black or nude? What, what's yours? Red or black. Favorite season, summer and fall? Fall. I'm kind of starting to hate this summer because it's hot it's as hell out season. here, man. Favorite holiday? Christmas. I already knew who was gonna say that. Halloween. Um, salsa verde or salsa roja? Salsa verde. Verde. But. No, but. Go ahead. Next one. No, 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 no. <laughs> if the other one's spicy, I go to whichever one spicy is. Straight up. La América o las Chivas? La América. Las Chivas. <laughs> I don't even watch soccer, you guys, but my dad le va las Chivas, so I'm going to support my daddy. Because este un día se puede levantar y irse con sus Chivas, so. Do you guys split your bills 50-50 on everything? Babe, you can answer that. Who, us two? Um, yeah. There's only one account. So mm -hmm. there's really nothing to split. Every bill gets paid completely. Um, if she ever wants to do something, she does it. If I really want to do something, I do it. Um, obviously, there's certain things that, you know, at the time we can't do. Like, I wish I had a private jet and I can't buy a private jet. I'm or pri or flight private or things like that. You know, uh, things that are obvious, we know our limits and things like that. So that's why it works out. So yeah, to answer your question, um, everything is paid through one account and one account only. Mm -hmm. We do also have separate cards. Yeah. Um, but just to, just random, like, oh shit, we forgot the other card. Here's this card. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can just transfer money that way. But okay. all right, the secret is out, guys. Moonlight Drive twenty three asked this question. I don't know where she got this information from, but the secret is out. Are you Blanca's older brother? Mm. Mm. <laughs> How did you guys find out? I'm just kidding. No, I am not Blanca's older brother. Mm -mm. But, 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 
A lot of people do tell me that I act like Blanca's older mm -hmm, brother. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. I don't know why they get that vibe. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm always driving. I think it happened that day that we, yeah, you were planchando. Mando always planchar. He even planchars my stuff sometimes if I need it to be planchar. Uh -huh. I usually make sure that shit that I buy don't have to be planchar because I hate planchando, right? So I remember Blanca um, trying on her dress and I was like, oh, give it to Mando so he can plancharlo. And she was like, no, no. I'm like, yeah, give it to him. He'll do it. He don't mind, you know? Because Mando loves planchando. It's like like a soothing, like, right for him, right? So she, she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah. So she gave it to him. We posted that or they posted it, recorded it. And people were like, why is he doing that? And I'm like going in. And I was like, if they only knew that I'm the one that told her to give it to him. Like, oh my God. But anyways... Since then, people have the good people were like, "Oh my God, that's so sweet!" It's like an older brother, you know. The good people, not the toxicas. The toxicas be wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did Lily start her own channel? Is there any drama huh. behind this? <laughs> Wait, I got. Should we to tell say. them the truth? We're breaking up, guys. She started her own channel. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a guy randomly messaged me too. He's like, "Oh, it's over. It's over, bro. Watching a year or two. You guys are going to break up. She started her own channel now, so this is the start of the ending. <laughs> but go ahead, baby. No, go you ahead. tell them. This was your idea. And I'm like, you know, we have a lot of guys watching us, so I don't think they'll want to watch your skincare routine and things like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, babe, what if you start your own channel? And I've been bugging her about her own channel for how long? Maybe like a year. Like, like persistently. Maybe once, once a month, once a week. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her, and finally she started. So it was my idea, you guys. This is the start of the beginning. This is the start of the end, and I put <laughs> it on myself. I'm just kidding, but yeah, go ahead. But the, the reason why I didn't start a while ago is because once I'm the type that if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, right? Mm -hmm. If I say I'm gonna post once a week, I'm gonna do it. And I have to like work myself up to being prepared for that, and I wasn't prepared yet. I was like, no, like we were still trying to get the hang of of um, Lily and Bay channel being consistent, posting, you know, like all that. But once we did like Vlogmer and we did what we said we were gonna do, it was our first Vlogmer ever and we were able to do all of it. How many YouTubers do you know do it the first time? Yeah, they quit. They'll miss yeah. a day or two. We even were posting weekends, you yeah. know? So for the people that don't know, Vlogmer is 25 days of straight posting videos. So once Vlogmer happened and I saw, we said we were gonna do it and we did it. I was like, okay, I think maybe, I think we're ready. I think we got the ball rolling with our YouTube channel. I think we're already on top of it, posting frequently and being consistent, right? So that was already a little push for me, right? But then, honestly, the real reason is, you ready to tell them? Dale, dile. The real reason is I finally got help here at the house, you guys. I finally have help here at the house to help with the chores and everything because as you guys know, we are not only YouTubers. We are not home all day and being able to post on YouTube, unfortunately, as much as we would love to. We actually have a whole business that we run and we take very seriously. Like if we are here in town, we take um, Guadis as a nine to five. We leave every single day to the warehouse all day. Sometimes we're not back home till like seven, eight o'clock at night. And especially since we travel a lot for YouTube, I was telling Mando, I just can't, I just can't anymore because one, we get back and I have to clean the house, unpack, wash clothes, and then repack, and then still somewhere in there, go to Guadis every single day, the few days that we're here before we leave on the next trip. Yeah, I see estaba, and I felt like overwhelmed, like I was never on top of it. And honestly, um, the house is clean. The house is pretty clean. It's only me and Mando, yes, but I do have really, really bad OCD with cleaning, like really, really bad, right? So even if we have, even if we weren't home, let's say all last week we were in freaking Texas or something. Mm -hmm. When I get back, I still feel like I got to clean the house. I still have to sweep, mop, dust, even though we haven't been here all week. That's just how I am. Very particular. I don't like fingerprints nowhere. I, that's just She's me. going in. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain to them. So I told Mando, okay, that's it. I'm getting somebody to come help me at once a week or even bi-weekly. Um... And Mando's like, okay, but if you do that, and here was the big but, you have to um, start your channel. You have to start your channel and because bam. the way that we do things is if we if we have if we're adding an expense, 
we have to do something to cover that expense. Even if we have the money already to cover it, we have to do something on top of that to cover to be covering that expense, you know. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that's perfect. That way that one day that I would have taken all day to clean the house, I could use that day to create content all day for my new vlog channel and with time it will pay me back and pay the cleaning lady. So yeah, you guys, that is why I started my channel because it, I needed, I had that push already and now I have the excuse and no excuses to get it done. So, bam. So, yeah, be ready for some cool girl content. Cool girl. Um, <laughs> you know, makeup tutorials, skincare routines makeup and all tutorials. that. So, um, we'll leave her Learning with me. YouTube down below um, so you go subscribe. Don't miss another video of her because she posted... She already has a post, right? By the time we post this, yes, she already has a post. Yes, by the time we post this yesterday, you guys would have seen my so, yeah. skincare routine video. Do you guys have a property in Mexico or will you buy one? I guess that's something that a lot of people don't already know, but... Let's wait. But, um, literally, no, we do not have a property. Um, mm -hmm. The property that we built on is my mom's property. She pretty much said, hey, from this back, do whatever you want. And that's what we did, and that's what we took advantage of. Um, we don't we don't see that what we did back there as ours. We just see it temporary for like for now. Next question: Do you guys plan on opening other small businesses? You guys, yes, we have been working for the past I want to say two three months on a new business venture that we're finally doing. Hey, this whole time we had been thinking, okay, what else can we do for now as far as a business? That isn't gonna take up too much Guadi's brand time because Guadi's takes up my whole life, guys. But I love it, so I don't, I don't complain, right? So we have officially opened up another Instagram page for our new business. It's called Dominating Prints. I'll leave it right here. We don't have a website yet because we're literally still working on it. But what Dominating Prints is is basically a print shop because we would get a lot of messages yeah. all the time. Hey, I have a quinceanera. Can you guys make me these shirts? Hey, I have a baseball team party. Can you guys make me these shirts? Or hey, can you guys make us flyers or whatever? A lot of people think, or a lot of people knew that because we have Guadis, we have our print shop, we're able to print for people. But honestly, we just didn't have time to add other people's yeah. um, orders, orders yeah. you know? But now we finally are able to make time for it. We're setting a whole, like, we're, we're, we literally made a schedule for working on dominating, dominating prints. And now we're able to take any orders from you guys through Instagram for now. But as you see on the Instagram, we really haven't posted anything yet because we haven't even told anybody yet. You guys are the first ones yeah. to know. All the information that we do have, I, I'm actually going to create a little facts highlight. That way it's in there. But if you guys have any questions, just send us a DM to that Instagram, Dominating Prints. And yeah, you, you guys will be some of the first to get, you know, the ball rolling on that. So Yeah, like she said, we're currently building the structure of the company. So that's like the most important thing. So that's what we're working on. Aw, this one's cute. What is your favorite things about each other? Go ahead. Ladies first. <sighs> Why? Because you got to think about it? Actually, I do. I can't stand you. My favorite thing about Mando is that he's super, how do I say it? How do you say Like it? friendly, not friendly, but like, basically what I'm trying to say is that he's a super good guy. If you see somebody outside, like my dad pulls up, he'll go out there and help him with whatever he needs. If we're here, he helps me pick up. If we're anywhere, like at Blanca's or Better Noches, he's not just there sitting on the couch, like doing nothing. He, he'll get up and help with whatever needs to be done does that make sense uh, be aside from that obviously being friendly getting along with it with everybody um always is good with small talk and conversations making people not feel awkward like all that is like one whole thing but i don't know what the word for it is but that, that. comment down below if you know what the <laughs> word is but my favorite part about her is that um something that i need to learn to do um but i always tell her like she said it earlier, like if she if she says she's gonna do something, she's gonna do it, and and that's why it's so hard sometimes to start something new with her because I shoot her like how many ideas a week, maybe four, a million. maybe five ideas a week, and none of them work out because she knows that it's gonna take like we said earlier a whole structure to get it done. So the, my to answer that question is that 
my favorite thing about her is that once she does something and she says yes to it, she's committed and there's no turning back. Are you guys, when are you guys planning on trying to have kids? or adopting still dun, dun, dun. so we are just waiting to actually be married like legally mm -hmm. and then come the babies you know like the supposedly right way right way to do it not that we ever planned it out this way but ya que estamos on the right track might as well right so yeah you guys we want to get married have the wedding get that done and then come the babies also because um we just love our lifestyle right now. Not saying that a baby would interfere in that at all because you guys know that I love kids. I'm always with my niece and nephew and baby Luna. Like, they're always with me and I miss them right now so much. But um, if we can wait, like, we'll wait. You know what I'm saying? And I want to, I want to, like, my, my niece and my, my nephew, I want to, like, have my attention on them as much as I can. Because I know later it might not be the same. Later, not because of me, but they grow up. They don't want to hang out no more. Yeah, they like ain't going to care about no us. <laughs> but anyways, but other than that, we do want to adopt too. I've always told Mando. And the cool thing is that before I even ever told him that I would like to adopt one day, he told me first. And I was like... <laughs> so I've always wanted to adopt. And I always thought I'm only going to adopt one. But then one day I was like, no, you can't just adopt one because I don't want him or her to feel like, oh, she makes has sense. her kids yeah. and then I'm the only one adopted. Does that make sense? So then I'm like, if I adopt two, then I feel like they'll have a bond and he'll have some, and they'll have they'll have somebody that they could relate to in the family if the time ever comes where they might feel like that, you know, their teenage years or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I do want kids. I want like four, three or four. Three or four, yeah. Yeah, three or four. Because I do like big families. Um, can you imagine three kids, four kids running around here? Yes, <laughs> I can. Um, but yeah, that's that'll be later. Yeah, and I'm not going to repeat what she said. We're pretty much on the same boat with that, so... Yeah. Adopting for sure. Even though lately and we both have had baby wedding. fever, right? We did. I'm like, the other day I showed her a picture. I was like, yo. He showed me a picture. A TikTok. A TikTok I showed her a TikTok. Yeah. Like, yo, if we have a baby, it better look like this. Yeah. No, no, look, yo. <laughs> like, he came up to me and was like, baby, you got to look at this. You got to look at this. I'm like, what? And he's like, look. And he's like, when I have a baby, he has to be like this. It was literally a little kid jamming out to Norteñas. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, really? I've Correos. never, he's never came up to me like that. But before this TikTok, like we've had uh, baby Catalina, we've had Franco. Angelique, Franco, now Juliana. my niece Luna, Juliana, so many kids in the circle recently. And I'm like, what's going on here? It's our turn. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute, but yeah, you guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. It was bussin', bussin'. The tacos were, they hit the spot because we were hungry. I filmed earlier today and we hadn't ate, so I was a little hungry. All right, so if you're here at this time, I think we're, I don't know, we might be 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes into the vlog, you're a real one. So I wanna give you $100 in Guadi's merch. All you gotta do is comment down below. What should they comment down below? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. What should be our next vlog? And your cash app. Yeah. I always forget to tell you guys to leave me the cash app when I say hundred dollar giveaways. Leave me the cash app because it's easier for me to send it to you right away with the cash app instead of me commenting, "Hey, yeah. you're the winner," waiting on you to comment back, and then by that by that time it gets lost in my feed, and then I never see it again. So. But yeah, so it's not $100 Guadis in. So you're going to leave your cash app. We're going to throw you $100 oh, in about that. cash app <laughs> money. You know, we got this cash app account full of money. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, you guys, comment your cash app down below. Um, comment what we should vlog next. And uh, we'll see you guys on the what? On the next vlog. Bye. <laughs> I live for this moment. Wait, we said we're not. Yeah, buddy. All right. Not sponsored, but hit me up, Topo Chico. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs>